Hey guys, welcome in a new episode of Stevens Week. I'm really happy that you are joining this session and let's take a look at what the news of this week was. First item, I think uh, something that everyone in the world talked about, it was the release of the new Tesla, the Model 3. Elon Musk introduced it uh, last week, but over the weekend, uh, more than 250,000 people pre-ordered the car. This must be the biggest crowdfunding campaign ever. In fact, it's like more than seven billion dollars in pre-purchase of a new car that's going to be on the market the earliest in 2017. So really impressive to see how this electric car thing is booming now with the release of this new Tesla. We are reaching a new era of forgery. In Amsterdam this week, a new Rembrandt was introduced, uh, but it wasn't a real one. It was actually a 3D printed Rembrandt that looks exactly like the original. So this is going to be interesting to see how forgers are dealing with this. This week, Facebook Live got available for everyone in the world. So that means that everyone in the world has a TV camera in their pocket to live broadcast events. Live streaming could become really, really big, especially now with Facebook joining in. The whole autonomous vehicles and driverless cars is reaching a new point. In Belgium and Holland this week we had cars, no not cars, trucks from Mercedes-Benz driving around the freeways. It were three trucks driving really close to each other. It's actually looking like a platoon of trucks, but we had driverless trucks in Belgium and Holland this week. It seems like Singapore will be the first country in the world that has autonomous taxis. A startup called Notonomy is building that and Singapore is seen as a country that is small and modern enough to make sure that those autonomous taxis could function in a perfect way. Facebook did something awesome this week. Um, they developed a tool that blind people can actually see what is on pictures. So they're helping out uh, people with limited sights to make sure that they can enjoy Facebook in almost the same way like uh, people that can't see uh, do at this time. It's not just Google that is working on a smart contact lens. Also Samsung filed a patent in Korea to work on that. And uh, this seems like a very advanced system. And I know Samsung is looking for the next big thing after the smartphone, as that market is starting to slow down. But this contact lens, uh, the patent that Samsung has filed, uh, it has a camera in the lens, so you can take pictures with it. And on the other hand, it also has an augmented reality functionality, so that you can see things on top of what you see in the real world. And they're trying to develop an interface that is much better than Google Glass. So let's see where this will lead to. This was the new episode of Steven's Week. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will share it. And I hope to see you again next week. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.